welcome to unix services training so please do visit us on unix services dot co dot n we provide training services and also provide solution based services and also support and remote support so in india you can contact the number double nine four five one five one four double two and you're from US and you can contact the Canada number that's four three eight eight two eight double five three zero or you can write to us at admin at unixservices.co.in for all types of Unix and Linux support and solutions. So today in our session we will be learning about how to configure Java so so if I see here I have already downloaded the Java JDK RPM which is there available on the website oracle.com and once you go to the oracle.com go to the download section and uh, from the download section you can just go to the java developers and if you just click on the JDK download so here we have the RPM which is which I have already downloaded so you can also download it from here and uh, we need to check what version of Java which is already installed to check that we can use Java dash version So we already have open JDK 1.7 which is installed so we can just remove this by using yum remove java star let's say yes So that's good. So we have removed Java now. And now if we type ls, so we have the JDK which is there downloaded from Oracle website. So let's now use Java dash version. to see what it is there so we don't have anything else as of now so now let's install it by using rpm dash uvh So we have successfully installed Java and there are 
couple more steps which we need to follow so once we have installed we need to go ahead and update our java home variable and the path variable and the class variable under the etc profile file so i have already made a note of that here so let's use nano editor just make a note here as java settings and copy paste uh, the variables which we have to define under the etc profile the global configuration file and save the file same time we need to just go ahead and update the settings which we have done for the file so for that we need to run the source command so that it rereads the file and updates the settings so that's it so we have successfully installed java so let's make sure we have installed by using the java and version so we can see that we have successfully installed and if we say echo dollar java underscore home so we have the java underscore home which is defined so this is how we go ahead and uh, install java we have done this on a red hat operating environment so we can say to view that we can say etc Red Hat release, so we have done it on Red Hat Enterprise 7, the Java installation. Thank you for viewing and have a great day ahead.